Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your mid-January to mid-February 2023 uh, mid-month reading. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements to see if there's more guidance or clarity or information in those readings for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rudy. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you all for your trust and support. I, I really appreciate all of you all. And um, again, know that this is a general reading. It won't resonate with all of you. It'd be nice if it did, but it won't. Since it's not a personal reading, it is a general reading. It's not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So take what resonates. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements if you have more, um, if you need more guidance or clarity. All right. We're going to start out with the first three cards in the middle, and they are where you're at right now. We have the Empress, we have this uh, Nine of Cups, and we have Justice. There could be some legal action that you have going on here. It could be something about child custody. It could be having, having something to do about a job or a business. You know, if, you, if you've started something, it could be, you know, like starting a business and feeling very... Um, very lucrative in it and going through the legal actions to make things legal going through the actions to make things you know binding contract wise maybe um, maybe like a an Etsy going viral or something like that even uh, something that maybe was a side hustle that you didn't think would turn into anything is turning into something it's very lucrative and you're feeling very much um, emotional satisfaction from this uh, you feel very much uh, that this is exactly it's like whatever you created this is exactly where you want to be with it and again you could be taking it the legal side of it you could be making something permanent you could doing be doing a contract or something with the justice um it could have something to do with child uh like a custody but i really almost feel like it is if it is it's going in your favor um And if it is, you have very much emotional ties into the situation, whatever it is. Very much feelings and emotions tied into this. And you've put a lot of work into it. But I really feel more like it's a business venture or it's something near and dear to your heart that you're creating. It could be something creative. It might not be a uh, brick and mortar business or a, it could be an online business. And maybe you're looking into making it legal, making, making it, you know... Uh, to where you can maybe make money on it now because it's a uh, you're really enjoying this justice is a card of libra bringing balance in maybe you're figuring out how to balance uh work with new new side hustle or something like that we have your health and your health is a ten of pentacles and i just feel um if you're an older person watching this, that you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's, you could be getting, you know, all your checkups that you need. You could be doing all the things you need to do. You could be getting, you know, things in order if and when an event happens, you know, not saying nothing's going to happen to you, but it's just like crossing your T's and dotting your I's and doing things so other people don't have to do things. Um, like if you get a will in order that, you know, all your paperwork in order, if and when anything happens, it's there. And just kind of letting those people know where things are. I see too that with this card is that, um, you know, your work could be paying for like a full checkup or a full whatever, and you're taking advantage of it. You're doing everything you can do to ensure that you are the healthiest that you can be, is what I feel with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you are not leaving any stone unturned. You're seeing all the potential for everything that you have going on in, you know, work-wise. And, you know, they could be paying for, um, since it's the first of the year, they could be paying for some type of um, a wellness check. And you're taking advantage of every, everything they're offering is what I feel with that card, too. All right. We have your wealth is the Eight of Swords. Um I almost feel like you could be holding yourself back. Um, you could be very frugal on spending. You could be very not trusting as far as investments. Uh, you are 
it's almost like you're standing in your own ways, what I feel with, with the money. Uh, I think you could be doing a lot more with what you have and you're either afraid or scared or don't know which direction to go in. The swords are knowledge though. So knowledge is to be had. You can, there's people to ask, there's help around you. You know, it's taking power back over your thoughts, taking power back over your actions. Um, your money could have been, could be tied up into something as well and maybe waiting for that to be released. If it's some type of court or legal action, maybe waiting for that to be released. You could be waiting for some money to come in as well and you feel tied or like you can't spend or you have to really watch what you spend, um, probably more so than you need to. But I feel like you feel like it's better safe than sorry. Your work environment, King of Cups. Um, you could be getting a, a promotion, a raise, some type of job, uh, moving up in some type of job division. That could be what you're waiting for with your wealth. Maybe, maybe it's, it's, um, I think it's something that you've wanted for a while with the cups, something you're emotionally tied to or emotionally invested in even. It could be your boss or your boss's boss that sees you, see, recognizes you, uh, rec you know, some type of recognition for a job well done or um, where you're noted for uh, being very stable and unwavering in a lot of chaos or a lot of drama. You hold your emotions in check where other people might not. There could be some type of recognition, promotion, or engagement for future uh, potential in a, in the company or in the job. Uh, you know, I just feel in your work you're not afraid to say things or take action or show emotion or speak up. You know, you don't hold your tongue is what I feel. Your love life. We have the tower. If you're not in a relationship, you could be coming out of a bad relationship. Um, right now in your thoughts, all relationships are not good. There's, you know, you're not looking for love. You're not going there. Um, once bitten, twice shy, that kind of energy. If you're in a relationship, things have to change. Things cannot go on the way they're going on. You have to get down to the foundation of what was what founded your relationship and build up from there. There could be some distrust. There could be some um, type of situation that came up that is not uh, not good that you all had to address. Some type of you know something going on that needed to be addressed that wasn't addressed. Communication is the key, and I think there wasn't communication, and it, broke, it can break down a relationship really quickly. It's not saying it can't be saved. It can absolutely be saved. It's just it can't go on the way it's going on. Things have to change if you're in a relationship. All right. Bottom of the deck energy. We have, wow. Hmm. We have the... Uh, the nine of swords which is worry and anxiety sleepless nights you know stress struggle with the three of heart three of hearts i say that all the time with the three of swords which is hurt heartache uh, learning from a, a bad experience kind of energy which can go with you know either one of these two with your money or relationships but it just talks about, you know, nine is a completion of a cycle. So whatever this is, is coming to an end. Uh, overthinking things, putting too much thought into a situation, kind of like the eight of swords, you know. Um, the bird thinks that probably all the swords are stabbing it and it can't get away. But if the bird would just fly, this is caught on the sword and all that ribbon would be loose and they would be free. Uh, they're not stabbed. They're not held out. They can easily fly up. So rising above uh, mental situations that have you trapped could be some type of um, issues with your mind. You know, your mind playing tricks on you or, or just that added stress and mental um, stress going on in your life right now that you need to try to find a way to... Uh, 
to work around that, to do something that you like to do, to, I always tell people to meditate and meditation is to me, not sitting cross-legged and, you know, doing the ohm and all that. It can be, but it's doing something you like, doing something that's going to get you out of your head. It's almost like you're waiting to hear something from something about money or waiting to hear something about a situation um, that either you applied for, maybe you're up for a raise, um, waiting to hear about money coming in or um, could have something to do since all three of these cards in the tower could have something to do with, you know, like if there's a divorce that you're waiting for a payout on or some type of breakup that you're waiting for a payout on. Um, it could be in the legal system in the works right now and you just, you're making yourself sick with worry that it's not going to go in your favor and not going to um, come through. But with the justice here, it's going to go in your favor and it will come through. You just have to have patience and you have to trust yourself and, and keep, um, keep busy and keep out of your own head uh, with that negative self-talk. All right. What energy is decreasing for Sagittarius? What energy is decreasing for Sagittarius? Wide open. Um, I see this t twofold as a decreasing energy, you know, um, being very gullible, being very open to anything and, and, very, very trusting without merit and learning lessons and knowing your boundaries, knowing who you can trust and who you can't trust and kind of reining in that the whole world is good energy to knowing that, um, you know, in everybody's life, some rain must fall, but you are, um, you're still optimistic. It's just that you're not completely trusting of on all aspects. It's kind of like if somebody's in a dating site or whatever, and they meet somebody and that person is not, you know, they're catfishing. They're not who they say they are. And you fall hook, line and sinker. And then the next go around, you know, better kind of that you're not as gullible. You're not as vulnerable. You're not as naive. What energy is increasing for Sagittarius, what energy is increasing? Feel the dreams. Wow. Sky's the limit, right? Sky's the limit. What a beautiful card. What are you creating? You know, you have the Empress, which is creation. Uh, keep, keep following your dreams. Let's see what we have. We have. Your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs are always engaging the vast potential of pure, the vast field of pure potential. Uh, be clear about your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Concentrate on the best life, regardless of the temporary outer conditions imposed upon you by the greater world, which has its own story to tell. You have a basket full of seeds that are quite powerful for your talents. For your talents are divinely inspired and will indeed lead to a great harvest to be shared with others. You will reap what you have sown. Dream big, dream beautiful, take action, and tend to the garden of your life and experience the extraordinary. Beautiful. I love that one. Dream big. You know, I think a lot of people's uh, problem is they're limited. They hold themselves back. They're limited. Kind of like the Eight of Swords, holding yourself back from your thoughts, actions, you know, thinking you're not good enough, thinking, you know, things won't work out. You have to dream big and you have to know that the universe has your back and the universe is vastly big for everybody. Don't think by taking something from the universe that you're depleting it. You know, there's plenty for everybody to go around. All right. What energy? Let's see. Woo, there we go. The scarab beetle spirit. Magic works through you. Oh, I just got goosebumps. That just flew right out, I tell you. What a beautiful card. Let's see what Miss Colette Baron Reed has to say about her card. 
In ancient Egypt, the scarab beetle was revered for the creative magic of scarab beetle spirit it reminds us that we can bring forth something extraordinary. There's that word again, extraordinary, right? Seemingly out of thin air, field of dreams, believe in your dreams. Whenever you let your creativity flow through you, scarab beetle reminds you that spirit has given you the gift of infinite potential. You have an ally as you fashion something new or repurpose the old. For spirit co-creates with you, channeling energy through you so that you feel replenished and vitalized as you make magic with what is at hand. Now is the time for great optimism for you can accomplish anything you desire and your creative endeavors will come to fruition. Miracles, opportunities, abundance, and love will appear seemingly out of nowhere as you allow spirit to work through you and magically manifest what you need. I'm not going to go back and reread this, but if you go back and reread that, I guarantee you it says about exactly the same thing. Beautiful. So you might not see the scarab beetle running around, but if you see a beetle, re-remember this reading, re-watch it. I will go back again and listen to that field of dreams because it says pretty much the same thing. You're the creator of your universe. Go for it. Um, anything you desire, you can bring into fruition. Beautiful reading. Beautiful reading. All right. Sagittarius, know that I put out readings the first of the month for love for committed and singles if you're interested subscribe hit the notification bell if you know any other sagittarius this is that this sounds like and you want to share feel free to share this video with them i'd appreciate that um take care of yourselves and each other give me a thumbs up if you like the video give me some type of comment if you need to comment or if you have a question um beautiful beautiful reading very much so much potential there if you can kind of get out of your own way that's what i'm feeling um, you'll open the doors. The doors will open. So, and know that there's plenty. There is enough for everybody. All right, Sagittarius, take care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe and healthy. Be blessed. Until next time. Bye for now.